On Tuesday, hundreds of high-level government officials, academics and business leaders gathered at the Indonesia's Singapore Business Forum held in Singapore. The forum discussed the latest on Indonesia's G20 presidency and also promoted Indonesian investments in the clean energy, digital and health sectors. A number of investment commitments between Indonesia and Singapore were also signed at the forum. On Tuesday, the Indonesian Embassy in Singapore, along with the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce, hosted the Indonesia-Singapore Business Forum, which was held in Singapore. The forum discussed the achievements so far in Indonesia's G20 presidency. It also promoted Indonesian investments to Singaporean investors, namely in Indonesia's renewable energy, digital economy and health sectors. Over 340 attendees took part in the business forum, including Indonesian and Singaporean high-level government officials, business leaders, and Singaporean investment bodies such as Temasek and GIC. Indonesia's ambassador to Singapore, Suryo Pratomo, affirmed the significance of the event, saying that Singapore is a strategic and important partner for Indonesia, especially since Singapore continued to be the number one foreign director investor to Indonesia in 2021, providing $9.4 billion in investments. Dan terutama Indonesia sekarang kan sebetulnya menjadi salah satu perhatian Singapura. Setelah ekonomi di Eropa itu mengalami perlambatan, bahkan Inggris sudah resesi, di Amerika juga pertumbuhan ekonominya tidak bagus, yang punya potensi untuk bisa tumbuh itu kan di kawasan Asia Pasifik. Nah salah satunya adalah Indonesia. Nah Indonesia ini kan hanya negara tetangganya mereka. Apalagi kalau kita lihat data 6 tahun terakhir Singapura, investor terbesar masuk ke Indonesia itu FDI datang dari Singapura. Nah ini yang kemudian seperti gayung bersambut. The chairman of Indonesia's Chamber of Commerce, Arshad Rashid, stated that the business forum was a great chance to show Singapore investors that Indonesia has transformed for the better and is now a much friendlier environment for investments. And kita mau mengatakan, wah ini, this is a new Indonesia. Kalau Kadin mengatakan ini namanya Indonesia Incorporated, yang dimana pemerintah dengan swasta bisa duduk bersama membicarakan investasi untuk masuk. That's mean apa? Pemerintah welcome, the private sectors also welcome the investment. Indeed, the business forum saw the signing of a number of investment commitments between Indonesia and Singapore. An MOU was signed in which Indonesian venture capital firm East Ventures raised $5 million in funding for Singaporean IoT coffee startup Morning. This further boosts the business strategic regional partnership by integrating Indonesian coffee beans to make coffee capsules for a Singaporean-designed Internet of Things coffee brewing machine. At the forum, Indonesian company Andalian also officially launched Andalian Trade, a one-stop international trading digital platform that facilitates trading between factories and distributors with suppliers and buyers in Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, the head of the Business 20 Indonesia Forum, Sinta Kamdani, also affirmed that Indonesia is currently pushing its promotion of investments in the renewable and green economy sector. This includes investments into the development of Indonesia's new capital city, Nusantara, which will adopt sustainable and clean energy concepts. Jelas, eh, Singapura ini kan uh, investor terbesar untuk Indonesia ya. Jel ini kita historinya juga panjang gitu. Tapi yang membuat kali ini agak sedikit menarik juga adalah bahwa fokus, tadi saya juga sampaikan di CNA, bahwa fokusnya sekarang ini banyak bergerak ke green transition. Jadi fokus ke green investment ini sangat besar. Dan kami sudah siap dengan project-project yang sudah di dibuat juga uh, analisa analisa dari segi ESG-nya gitu. Jadi benar-benar kita menunjukkan eh kita enggak enggak lag behind, kita siap gitu untuk menunjukkan banyak sekali potensi project-project uh, untuk green uh, green baik itu dari segi energy transition maupun proyek ekonomi, uh, ekoturism dan macam-macam. Meanwhile, the business forum also saw government commitments made between Indonesia and Singapore. This includes commitments to provide funds to the Financial Intermediary Fund set up to help prevent the next pandemic and help developing nations. Singapore has committed $10 million to this fund, while Indonesia committed $50 million.